So you're like me, right? You need FPS. When you try to load up Minecraft and go into Lobby 1, your computer just completely dies and ends up at 7 FPS. I mean, that's why you're here, right? So today I'm going to teach some easy and good methods and mods that can easily increase your FPS and stop you from lagging as much. And you want FPS now, right? So we're going to instantly get started. We're going to quickly join our pixel here and we're going to you know, get started. So go to options, go to video settings and the first thing you want to do is look at render distance. Render distance is probably one of the most major factors in terms of FPS. You want to turn this down to as much as you want. 2 is the minimum and give you the most FPS but like you, know, you can't really see anything. And then you want to look at graphics. You want this to be at fast. I personally cannot see a difference between fancy and fast but I mean more FPS the better right? And then you want to go through all of these little settings and then just turn them all to where it says fast or fastest and that will obviously give you the most amount of FPS and the least amount of lag as you possibly can get. And now we're going to be looking at Optifine. Optifine is a free mod that you can download and it will greatly improve your FPS. I'll leave all the downloads to all the mods that I will use in this video in the description if you want to download them for yourself. Basically Optifine adds this little cheeky button called animations and it's basically every particle in the game. Normally these are all on by default on normal Minecraft and you can basically just turn them all off. You're great, your game won't look great because your know, particles is actually a major part of Minecraft but more FPS the better like I said earlier. And we're actually going to be taking a look at how much Optifine actually impacts your game. As you can see, I am grabbing my Mana Flux Power Orb and anything that produces a lot of particles. At the moment, I have all of my particles enabled and we're going to be running as a little short test here. As you can see, we're getting about 35 FPS on average when I'm shooting as many particles as I physically can. And when I run Optifine on with all the particles off, as you can see, I'm getting a nice 42 FPS on average. That's a 7 FPS increase and that's honestly pretty damn good. Next way to increase your FPS is by using Patcher. Patcher is another great free mod and basically you can do many things that Optifine can't do. If we sit here and search go block particles, here we go. Disable breaking particles. Basically if you're mining or doing literally anything, if you break things then particles still spawn and Optifine can't do anything about that. At the moment, I have this on, and you'll see on the screen now, a little test of my FPS when I have it off and when I have it on. So when I have it off, as you can see in my FPS in the corner, I'm getting quite low-ish FPS for mining, and when I have it on, I'm getting quite a bit more FPS. If you're playing Skyblock, however, this is even more useful, because in farming, you insta-break the crops. In the farming test, as you can see, I'm getting a lot less FPS. As you see, I'm averaging about 25-ish, and then when I have the particles on, off, then I'm getting quite a lot more, and it's really useful. Have you ever lagged in dungeons? Because I definitely have. These next two are going to be more about dungeon based. If we go into Sky Tools and search up No Hurt Cam, um, as you can see, it removes the screen shape when you are hurt. I'll show you a few examples on screen now, about when you get hurt, the screen slightly shakes, when you get that. For some reason this only works inside a skyblock and it won't work anywhere else outside of skyblock. As you can see it's not really a, like a balanced test but it's definitely a significant decrease in FPS when I have this off. When I have it on the game runs just in general a lot more smoother and it's just in general a lot less painful when you have this on. This is using the mod sky tools and I'll leave a link to this as well in the description. And for the last feature for today, we are going to be going to Sky Tools again. If we go into Sky Tools and search up main tag, there is a lot of different settings here. Basically, what is in general do is that they disable name tags for certain enemies that aren't really useful. For example, the spirit animals in floor 4, there is a ton of animals, and once there is a lot of them, most people lag a ton. Most sweats usually use this option, and then they just don't lag at all since it only has to render the enemy instead of just the name tag. Usually I will just go through all of these and enable all of these and it will greatly improve your FPS. Have you ever lagged when trying to enter a dungeon or enter a new room? Well this is why. The game has to render the enemy as well as the name tag which basically means it's rendering two things at once. This means once you have this option enabled it only has to re render the enemy and it will only have to use half the amount of resources in general it has to use. 
And that's about it for today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. I will reply to every single comment and I love feedback. If you could please like and subscribe, that would also be really sick. We are really close to 350 subscribers and I wouldn't mind hitting it this year. After all, it does take quite a while to make these videos and I just want to help out the community. Anyway, with that video done out of the way, I might as well just roll the outro and see you guys in the next one. See ya.